viewers welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today's video is especially for all the lovely children who are spending their summer time at home and want to start painting these small paintings will teach you color mixing and color filling techniques and the same process can also be done on walls in your playroom in kindergarten or children's room so friends do give it a try because these are the easiest painting to start from and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video i post every week let's quickly check out the materials now for doing this painting you're just going to need two important things the first are colors and the second is a base for your base, you can either select a canvas board or you can simply do it on drawing papers like this one. I'm going to use both of them for my base and the size of my canvas board I'm going to use is 6 into 8 inches and in the same size I will be cutting my drawing paper sheets so that all the four paintings look the same size and for colors, you're going to need 4 to 5 shades. The first is brown, white, yellow, orange and pink. If you don't have orange and pink, you can simply make them by using a red instead of this both colors. And you can get pink by mixing a red with white and you will get orange by mixing red with yellow. Other than that, you don't need a palette for mixing colors, paintbrush, a pencil for drawing and two cups full of water. So this is my fresh water cup and one more I have a glass for washing my paint brushes, a rough cloth for wiping my brushes and for my brushes I'm going to use two different size of brush. This is my first brush number 9 round hair brush and this one is number 0 round hair brush. Two brushes are enough for this painting so let's start now friends. Now we will start this painting by making a very very simple drawing which just anyone can draw using a pencil on a paper or on a canvas without any hesitation. Firstly and very roughly I'm going to draw mountains. You don't have to be very perfect in it just start with few random lines like shaping like mountain and you'll get it someday. Okay this is enough and good. Now using a protect, I'll make a sun. This is how my first drawing looks. In the same way, I have done one more drawing on my other canvas and two more very simple and easy drawings on the paper sheet. So now we are done with the drawing part. Let's start mixing colors. All these materials are linked in the description box below from where you can buy them online and you can get these images to use it as your reference for your painting from my website which is www.creativearthome.com So enjoy this painting now friends. So all the colors we are going to use in our painting are going to be very pastel, very pale shades but at the same time it will brighten up your space. So in each color we will be mixing white. So I'll just pour a little bit of orange, yellow, scoop out some pink, just a little bit of brown. I'll also add some fresh water in this four palettes so that I can use whenever I want it. Now firstly I'm going to create a light pink shade so I'll take a lot of white and just a little bit of pink very less. Here we have got the light pink color which we need. Then same I'm going to do for orange. I'm going to take a lot and a lot of white a little bit of orange and here I have got my light orange. So these are the two important colors, light pink and light orange for this painting. When you take some light orange, let's take some light orange in our palette and add yellow in it, you get one more brighter shade. And if you want to lighten it some more, use white in it. Here you have got one more bright new shade which absolutely looks like cream add some more white and you have got cream 
if you take this a little bit more of orange white and brown so here you have got a more earthy color a little bit of yellow will be good so here is one more color for the same painting and then get the same color and some more of pink in it you have got a darker shade with this so these are all the shades we are going to use in our paintings so these are few extra tricks we will be doing in this painting step by step but let's start with the most basic colors for now now when all our colors are ready let's start by coloring our first painting so here i'm using a round head brush number eight and the light pink color and I'll simply start filling colors according to my drawing. I'll add a little bit more of white and make few simple strokes which would be visible at the end. Now let's use the light orange color paint the mountain again I'll do the same trick use a little bit of white on the top tip now for the next color I'm going to need a mixing of orange and pink Now the orange seems a bit bright so for that you can mix a little bit of white in it and redo the color. I'm going to mix just a little bit of bronze, check the color and redo the hill part. Finally the mountains are done. Let's paint the sun. I'm going to use yellow and mix white and yellow. Yeah, it is ready to go. This is how pretty and beautiful our painting looks after getting dry and this is the complete view of it. So now let's move on to our next painting. Now this is a drawing I have made on a drawing paper. If you don't have any canvas, you can also start painting on a drawing paper like this. So first of all, I'm going to make a light pink color for that. I'm going to use white and just a little bit of pink. To get that baby pink color I need for the sky. This color is ready. Using a round hair brush, I'll simply start coloring. First do the borders and then do the color filling. Now for the moon, I'm going to use a white color and do the very simple step. Do the border first and then fill up the complete drawing. I'm going to make light brown color so for that I'm going to use white and then mix just a little bit of brown with white to get that light brown color it looks good I think adding a little bit of orange may increase the brightness so I'll add a little bit of orange with it and we have got the perfect color we need for this hill the coloring part is most simple. You just have to do the lining first and then fill up the color you want. Now for my next color, I need light orange. And for that, I'm going to mix just a little bit of orange with white to obtain that light orange color. This is perfect. Let's do the lining first. And now for our next hill, we're going to need light yellow color. So I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow with a lot of white. Get that light yellow color. I think using a little bit of this light orange color would be good. 
okay we have got the color we needed so let's start making the hill now now for the landscape I want to make a orangish color so here I can see there's a little bit light pink remaining let's mix some orange with it and see how the color goes just a little bit of pink is needed more of pink here we have got the color we need create the boundary first and then fill up the color now for the path we are going to need a quite a different color so for that I'm going to mix pink a little bit of white and brown so by mixing these three colors I'm going to get the color I need for the path I think I'll need to add some more pink and a little bit of orange so here I have my color This is how our painting looks when it is finally completed and in the same way we will continue making our next painting. This is how beautiful our painting looks when it is finally completed and dried up. I really appreciate the colors and the color mixing we have done for this painting. So now let's move on to our next painting. This is my second drawing and we'll start it coloring by first of all I'm mixing pink with white and coloring the sky as pink. Now I'm going to mix just a little bit of orange in the same pink and white color and I'll use it for the hills. Got our hill. Now let's mix a little bit of brown in the same color. Yeah, this was unexpected, but I'll show you how it looks completed. A little bit of white, pink. This is the favorite color. I'm going to make our next mountain. Now let's do a fresh start. Take some white in your palette and add a little bit of orange in it mix it well like this and you have got a light orange shade color our final path i'm going to mix a little bit of yellow with white turn that color as light yellow and start coloring the path this is how beautiful our painting looks when it is completed and dry this would look much more better on a bigger canvas or a larger wall and this was an amazing practice of mixing and matching colors. So let's paint our next painting. Now this is the sketch for my next painting and I have done it on a paper. So let's start the coloring now. First of all, I'm going to use the baby pink color we have made. First, do the borders very carefully and then you can fill up the colors in the remaining part. Now I'm going to add a little bit of orange and mix it with the same light pink color to get a new and unique color here this really looks very pretty and then I'm going to use it for this hill and take the same color and mix just a little bit extra of orange and a little bit of yellow for now brighten up the color the color was too dark so I decided to mix a little bit of yellow and white at a time let's try this one okay I feel this one is good I have decided to lighten up the shade This one is good. 
Now for my next color, I'm going to mix a little bit of orange with pink, a lot of pink and white. Here we have got the color for the hill. So let's start coloring. Now for my next hill, in the same color, I'm going to mix a little bit of white and make it more lighter. I feel this is right. So I'll start coloring. Now for my next color, I need just white and a slight tint of yellow. We just need a off-white color and just this would be enough. Now finally mix some brown and the same light yellow color and you'll get a light brown. Just a little bit of orange to increase the brightness. And here we have got our next color. Using white for the moon. Now using a reddish color, I'm going to draw a few trees. Now we will let it get dry and let's remove the tapes. And this is our final piece of painting. It looks equally beautiful to all our previous ones. Just this time we have extremely used so many different shades. And till now, I hope that you have learned making so many different colors by just using this four to five colors. And I hope you have enjoyed the video as much as I love to paint because these were the easiest paintings I ever made. And these are also the best for your children to start painting at home. The same paintings can be done on any wall by using non-toxic wall paint and by the same process you can make these beautiful paintings in kindergarten in your children's room or any play area walls so friends do give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos friends and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching